So which PGA Tour player will win their first major in 2021? In my opinion, I think it will be John Rahm. And you might see it as soon as April at Augusta, where he has finished in the top 10 in the last three years. He has a new contract with Callaway, which early reports say he feels good about the new irons and golf ball he's been playing. Rahm is currently ranked second in the world behind Myrtle Beach's favorite, Dustin Johnson. So, obviously, that's a huge testament to the player that he is. My pick is Xander Shoffley. You know, it's amazing to me that a guy who's been as remarkably consistent as Shoffley's been the past few years, especially in major championships, he hasn't gotten the level of pub and props as other guys on tour. But check this out. Xander Shoffley's played in 14 majors in the past four years. Half of those have been top 10 finishes. Five of those have been top five finishes. He's come in second at the British Open in 2018 for Francesco Molinari. He's come in second to Tiger Woods at the 2019 Masters, right alongside DJ and Brooks Kepka, and he's had three top five finishes in the U.S. Open. There's only one problem with that for this year, though, the venue. Torrey Pines hasn't been kind to Shoffley, and four of his last five visits there, he's missed the cut. But he's been in the hunt in each of his last four U.S. Opens, there in Hills, at Shinnecock Hills, Pebble Beach, and at Winged Foot. And as everyone knows with the U.S. Open, the USGA's course setup in any given year can have as much impact on the event as the venue itself. For Shoffley, that could be a big equalizer. And if Rory McIlroy doesn't repeat his 2012 route at Kiowa, the PGA Championship and British Open could be fair game for anyone playing well this year. If I'm looking for a first-time major winner in 2021, my money is on Xander Shoffley. Hey everybody, Scott Threlkill here with Litchfield Beach and Golf Resort. Once again, as a Myrtle Beach Golf Ambassador, we've been asked the question, who is more likely to win a major who has not won one yet? Well, a lot of great guys playing golf. Year's starting off great with the century. Um, obviously a little bit of controversy going out there. But as far as who is going to win a major first, I look to none other than John Rahm. John rahm has been playing great. With the equipment change, it seems his game might be moving in the, right, in the right direction. Now, let's just hope he can keep his head in the same spot. Once again, my name is Scott Threlkill, and we'll see you at the beach. The next player to win their first major. Well, I heard everybody picked John Rahm and Shoffley, so I'm going to kind of stay away from those two, and we'll look at who I believe would be next. And I got two, I would say... One that I think could be on the list would be Paul Casey, but if I had to pick another one besides those other two, I would say Hideki Matsuyama would definitely be next on the list. He's constantly around the top of the leaderboard. He goes through these droughts here and there, but time and time again, he finds his way to the top. At some point, Matsuyama is going to win a major.